believe we are live. Great. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the March 14th Public Design Commission public meeting. We do not have public hearing today, and so we will not be hearing public testimony. Um, therefore, you can watch on YouTube. Uh, if you would like to look at the agenda or the presentation, you can see the links below the video, the YouTube video. And uh, Signe, I think we can start. Um, thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Signe Nielsen. I'm president of the Public Design Commission. I will now begin the meeting by uh, a roll call to confirm commissioner attendance. Uh, when I call your name, if you would please say here. Ken Seth Armstead. Here. here. Lori Hawkinson. Here. Karen Keel. Here. Manuel Miranda. Here. Susan Morgenthau. Here. Ethel Sheffer. Here. Meryl Tisch. Here. Mary Valverde. Here. Uh, thank you. Um, so we'll now uh, commence with the committee meeting with a presentation on the construction of open space improvements at Metro Tech Center, Myrtle Avenue Promenade, and Metro Tech Commons between J Street and uh, Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn. Uh, Grace will let you know uh, when to begin. Hi, um, so Kim Cooper from Field Operations for presenting. Kim, I gave you uh, control, so I think you go ahead and test it and, and start when you're ready. Great, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Just make sure that. Okay, looks like we're in business. Oops. Okay, great. Good morning again. I'm Kim Cooper. I'm with uh, James Corner Field Operations. We are uh, the landscape architects working here with Brookfield Properties on uh, the improvements to uh, to the Brooklyn Commons here at Metro Tech. So I think uh, probably many of you are familiar with uh, the site, but it's located, as you can see here, in, uh, in really the heart of downtown Brooklyn. It's um, a five acre open space that was built in uh, the 1980s is part of a larger uh, development uh, that included office space, academic and, and retail. Um, uh, of course, you know, the recent switch or the recent shift, I should say, in um, the, the demographics and the activity in downtown Brooklyn um, towards a more residential, um, more diverse groups of users. Uh, we the, we're seeing a shift in, uh, in the users of this uh, open space. And so the pro proposed design here just looks to really just update it and modernize it, um, make it more welcoming and inviting uh, and in infusing some more energy and warmth to the space uh, while also continuing um, to support the robust, robust programming that uh, continues and exists today um, on the site. Uh, some existing images of the, the site you can, as it exists today. Um, you can see the planting, you can see the light fixtures, the bollards and signage and such. Some more of those from different angles and views. We're looking down Myrtle Promenade right now, which is this east-west uh, open space connecting um, between J Street and, and Flatbush Avenue. Uh, again, uh, within the common or within the the promenade there, uh, Myrtle Street Promenade, but looking towards the Commons, which is the the, the more the central larger um, open space under a bosque of existing honey locust trees. And you can see a lot of the edges are aligned. You know, we have and the amenities of, of trash cans and benches all exist. You can see those here, and within that Commons area. And again, another view looking towards Flatbush along the promenade. And then a zoom in of the, the, the planting beds along the promenade. You can see there's, there's fencing, there's um, some rather uninviting uh, benches and dated uh, other amenities such as the lighting and, um, and trash cans that we're gonna be looking to, to update and refresh. Another last view there. 
So as I, I touched on in those existing views, you can see the major elements that we're uh, looking to update here and refresh would be um, some the thought of the dated light fixtures that you see, um, the, the benches that are, are metal and hard and pretty uninviting, um, the planting beds, which really need a bit of a refresh and to make it more, more seasonal and more um, charismatic um, and then also taking down some of the barriers that are there that exist such as the, the existing fencing along some of the planting to uh, again make it more immersive and a, a more inviting place to be. The overview of the existing plan of the site um, Again, Myrtle Promenade running the east-west, which is a bosque of, of trees, linden plane trees with planting and planting beds underneath. Um, there are some benches that flank those, um, uh, those planting beds right now. And then in the central commons, it basically consists again of um, a bosque of trees. Uh, those are honey locusts in the center with uh, two pockets of lawn and um, some, uh, planting, uh, well, right now there's actually shrubs and understory planting um, uh, flanking uh, those lawns. And this is the updated site plan. Um, and what we're looking to do is basically maintain the overall structure of the site, keep the existing lawns, keep the bosques of trees, um, but uh, update the furnishing. You can see create uh, some, uh, some wood uh, furnishing that go surround the uh, the planting beds, um, update the lighting, we'll do that, um, and refresh the planting beds. For the furnishing, you can see we're proposing a mix of a variety of different types of seatings, both you know your standard uh, backed bench with armrest to also platforms and picnic tables. We'll show some um, images of those here. Uh, of some of the different types, here are some platforms and some backed benches. Also mixing in double-sided ones and of course, picnic tables. Um, strategically along all these, there'll be um, uh, some discrete skateboard deterrence uh, as well as, as arm right, armrests for um, comfortability. For the lighting, um, you can see here is the proposed plan. The, um, uh, the blue circles are, are exist, are, proposed lights on existing in existing locations or on proposed foundations. Um, the red X's you see there are existing uh, where existing light poles currently are that are going to be removed. Do um, we can reduce our number of poles by about a third um, due to uh, you know lighting technology now and, uh, and the efficiency and throw that um, the fixtures today and poles can have. So that'll be nice to, de to kind of declutter and uh, clean up. Um, another thing to know, particularly regarding the lighting and uh, other things within the DOT right away, we've already submitted, um, and you may have already seen um, preliminary, uh, and we got preliminary approval for um, the improvements we're doing within the right away here at, at the Flatbush. Um, as far as the materials and what, uh, materials that we'll use for uh, these new um, element, landscape elements we're adding, uh, particularly the benches. Uh, we're looking to use uh, a coil wood. Um, there'll be some stainless steel for armrests um, and then and also the bollards and stuff and um, painted steel uh, as well. Uh, again, integrated into the furnishing, but also um, for the light poles. The paving itself will largely remain as is. There's existing hex, asphalt hex pavers, bluestone, and decomposed granite, as well as some of the, the streetscape sidewalk um, uh, paving. Uh, there are some patches and areas that need uh, just maintenance and an and, and update. And so those will be uh, included in this um, patching of the, some of the existing paving. As far as planting, you can see we have a you know robust seasonal all season kind of palette here. Um, uh, these are some of the shrubs. There's also be a number of understory uh, perennials and grasses that'll be that are proposed. Um, and here you can see these. This is some examples of similar benches that um, we will be be using. You can see the steel bottoms with the wood slat tops and how they will frame um, and embrace the planting beds. 
the light fixtures. Here's an example of those. Again, very simple and clean and very efficient um, poles. Um, and then overview uh, and overall renderings or views of, of the proposal here um, with the updated furnishing, planting, and lights. And this is where we'd have the picnic tables. And you can see ideas for also like maintaining a lot of the, the programming there, ping pong, et cetera. How we'll feel along uh, the Myrtle Promenade there with the commons over here to the left. And then uh, a section through the, uh, the promenade, you can see the planting and the benches flanking it and then the existing um, bosque of trees remaining, or LA, I should say here. And that's, and that's what we have. Um, that's the proposal for today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any uh, comments, questions? We're not voting, um, but uh, this is an opportunity to voice any uh, concerns or suggestions. I did have a question about the bollards that I saw in the last rendering, but I didn't see them on your palette. Um, are those uh, a change? Because you'd mentioned that they were stainless steel, but in the rendering, they look black. Yeah, they're right now proposed. You're right, they do look black here in the rendering. They, um, they're all existing bollards that were, again, just upgrading in place. Um, the, Right now they're proposed to be stainless steel, um, but they may be painted black. That's an adult all, an all deduct in case we, we need that, so. Right, okay. But if they're painted, they'll paint, be painted to match um, what we have on the bottom of the benches. So I guess the directive from the client was to just uh, kind of up a, a patch and repair the paving. But I, I have to say that that, that red granite, I guess it must be, um, it does uh, make for a pretty uh, 80s look, which is hard to eradicate. I mean, at least it's not on the promenade, but in that kind of central area, it's unfortunate that it's, it needs to remain because it seems there are a couple of areas where the benches are not completely, they're sort of half covering it up and. I don't know, is there a, a notion to just get rid of that and replace it with either hex or bluestone or whatever's appropriate? There is possibly as a, as a day two, but not as part of uh, the improvements right now. Um, I think there, there have been conversations about that, but um, it's, not in the, it's not in the cards right now. I would like to ask you a question about these discrete um, anti-skating devices. You said that there would be discrete anti-skate devices, but there's nothing in the in the proposal that indicates what those would be. What 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 would that be? Um, the the proposed manufacturer for the benches provides a. Um, there are small, just little domes that go on the edge of the uh, the uh, of the furnishing of the wood. So along the edge at the ends, but not through the seating area. No, along the, along the seating area here too. Yep, they'd be pretty consistent around, integrated into the wood, um, just little steel domes. Okay. So the way that we're seeing them here now, they would be punctuated uh, in this image. There's a uh, behind this bike. Sorry. Okay, but the image we see now, behind this bicycle, the woman sitting on the bench, mm -hmm. there'd be sort of domes on the wood at intervals of a person. Yeah, I think about a two foot spacing right now. They're, they're just on that, on that, that edge beam there. Um, and they're very low, just little. I, uh, but they don't carry through in the seating area. So they're, they're not anti like the, the previous benches had rails so that you could sit, but you couldn't lay. They're right. more about not grinding if you're a on skater the on the edge, only on the edge. Okay. Exactly. Um, 
I want, I we do have, that, yeah. we I mean, do have was, some armrests that are have been integrated or that are attachments that are integrated as well. So um, again, those will be be there for both comfort as well as um, as well as to deter laying down in those areas. But um, one thing I wanted to mention too is that um, the Brookfield will have has security and operations part of uh, surveillance of the area um, during the day and uh, along with the downtown Brooklyn partnership also has 24 seven surveillance. So that's, so it's a combined, so we're aware of the desire to lie down on some of this furniture um, and it's both uh, a bit of design, but also a bit of operations that uh, we have in place to um, manage that. And the other thing I wanted to ask about is, is unrelated is that um, there was an art program that was run by the Public Art Fund that, uh, is that no longer part of this uh, plan? And is that part of your conceiving of this moving forward or they're just not going to be running an art program for public art here on this site anymore? Um, as far as the design is proposed, it's not to exclude that at all. I, if it continues, it's the design is to, is to support the continuing of that. I'm, I can't speak for the, the client as far as if that is um, something officially that's gonna, that's continuing if there are other reasons why it's not there, but um, as far as, as I know, the design is not being proposed to exclude that or eliminate that. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you okay. very much. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, is this, is this uh, site being branded Brooklyn Commons? I'm just looking at the sign here. Yeah, where's the signage? Where is the signage? There's a sign right here. There's a separate, I think, a separate signage uh, effort that's going on here that will obviously come to you um, when that's, that's ready. Um, but yes, it is being, as far as I'm aware, it's being rebranded as Brooklyn Commons. I just, um, I mean, it's a very simple plan. I just had a question about this, the big flat area with the person in the wheelchair, that whole area. So, so the um, place where you're not allowed to skate, the, the skateboard bumps will be all around that. Will there be, I mean, it's a nice idea to have this big flat, you know, like you, you could imagine sitting around with a group of people or, you know, like different amounts of people getting together there, but uh, how, like, are there handrails gonna be on that too? That, that would be a drag. Um, no, there's no proposed oh, handrails uh, oh, or armrests on that piece. there. Uh -huh. Yes, the design there is really Arm to rest, take it excuse this, me. Yeah. this, you know, welcoming, as you as you as you said, a welcoming platform that can be active, and you can see groups and um, used in a, a number of ways. Um, mm -hmm. Armrests okay. would be more integrated along where there are backs and other things. Um, okay, that's nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? Okay, um, now that I see everyone again, I, I believe not. Um, Kim, thank you very much. Thank you, Brookfield. And uh, uh, we will, I guess, uh, either vote on it or one way or another uh, shortly, but not today. <laughs> um, hi, Signe, just yes, uh, one thing. Um, there are a few questions you asked that weren't really in the designer's core to answer. So um, I will get back to you. My understanding is um, there still will be programming um, as, as planned um, previously. And as far as your question about the pavers, the granite, I'll get back to you about if there's any possibility to incorporate those changes in this plan. Right, because uh, it was mentioned that it might be a, two, a day two, but uh, some of the benches are actually gonna be over that granite. So it would be a little cumbersome to yeah. do it in day two. Understood, we'll get back to you. Okay, thank you, Gil. Sure. Um, and I can answer that, sorry. It's Elliot from uh, Brookfield here. First of all, thanks for having us. Um, but, but yeah, I don't think the art program isn't changing at all. If anything, we, you know, we're trying to you know, bring more arts to, to the area. We have like a very robust program again this year and, and also working with um, Downtown uh, Brooklyn Partnerships. So open to all those things. I think, I think the idea is to make the space even better for these programs and these different events. So, um, that's more the angle we're taking. And in terms of the hardscape, I think, look, we're, we're, it's something we want to get done at some point. It's just coming down to, you know, a budget um, 
concern at, at this stage. So we are kind of selectively removing and then replacing um, hardscape that, that has been damaged. So um, yeah, that, that's something that we can definitely take into consideration uh, in, in the future. Okay, thank you. And, and I'll just add the benches, the way they're being attached, they allow for them to be um, easily unscrewed and removed. So um, there okay. is potential for um, flexibility for that in the future. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, are we, any other commissioners? Um, no. Um, so uh, with that, uh, that uh, concludes our committee meeting. Uh, and we'll now begin the public meeting uh, with a vote on the consent agenda. Uh, so today we are reviewing items number 28042 to 28063. Uh, staff has noted my recusal on item 28056. Are there any other recusals that need to be noted? Okay, hearing none. Uh, there are, let the record show, there are no further recusals. Um, <clears throat> so I'll now call for a vote. Uh, commissioners, when I call your name, if you would please state your vote for the consent agenda. Um, uh, approve all or uh, whatever exceptions you'd like to take, please so state. Uh, Ken Seth Armstead. Approve all, please. Uh, Lori Hawkinson. Approve all. Karen Keel. Approve all. Manuel Miranda. Approve all. Susan Morgenthau. Approve all. Ethel Sheffer. Get back to her. Meryl Tish. Approve all. Uh, Mary Valverde. Abstaining. Uh, Ethel, are you back with us? Yeah, I am. Uh, approve all. Okay. And myself, approve all. So the consent agenda uh, is is approved uh, and the public meeting